one of these milks is made from a cow. One of these milks is made using precision fermentation. Let's taste them, see how they compare. So on the right is Dairyland, and the one on the left is Bored Cow. The two biggest differences are, actually, you can tell by the ingredients. So we're just going to look at them here. Let me know if you can spot the difference. Yep, sugar. 12 grams of sugar, three grams of sugar. Right, and of course, both of them have vitamins added. So there's no real difference there. This one actually has more vitamins added. Normal dairy milk is quite sweet. If you taste them both one after another, the biggest difference you're gonna see or you're gonna taste is that this one is a lot sweeter. This one is slightly, almost, I'm just gonna have another sip just to try and describe it. So it has the consistency, it has the fat, um, it has the color, as you can tell. It has the aftertaste as well. If you've drunk milk, you know there's a bit of an aftertaste. So really the main difference is it's not sweet like a normal milk, which I really like. And it has, the aftertaste is a little bit more bitter than normal cow's milk. So I think that would be the main difference. No, yeah, it tastes like milk. It's really good. Um, I would say it's probably more like a 2% than a 3.25% milk. So slightly more, or slightly less fat, but otherwise it's milk. It is a little bit oily, so the fats, as we can see in the ingredients, water, animal-free whey protein from fermentation, sunflower oil, a little bit of sugar, and then your vitamins, calcium, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And so, just because we're using, you know, water and oil, um, so that just creates. It's just mixed slightly less well than a cow's milk, and so you do need to shake it up. You can see here, you do need to shake it before you drink it, but in terms of so in terms of the actual consistency, you have the full fat. Water and the oils mix together slightly less well than uh, milk fat does with water. They've done it. This one is exactly what I was looking for. We're like at probably a 2% uh, milk fat equivalent for cow's milk, and it really fits that North American market. Kind of type of milk. If we look at that chart that we had, oh, I remember a number of videos ago, we can see here are the different factors that we need to get right in order to get these alternative protein products to be as good as the animal version. So I'd say if we're looking at boar cow, we have the price is getting close. The taste, I would say we're, I'd say we're 80% there on taste. It's really just a little bit of bitterness left. And if they can really balance that between the get rid of the bitterness without getting adding a bunch of sugar like you have in normal milk, so that's going to be amazing. Then texture-wise, it's really just about solving that problem with is it more oily or is it more fatty? This is something you put on the roadmap, and eventually it's something you solve. So I'm pretty confident that they're going to do it. Again, super exciting because when I tasted the very dairy it tasted like a plant-based milk alternative to me. And so I was just thinking, oh, if this is precision fermentation milk, then we're just not going to be able to replace the North American dairy milk because a lot of people like their 2% milks, their 3.25% milks. And so I'm really excited about Borcal because they're clearly getting to where we need to go with the product, and it's just going to be a matter of time before they get there. Really encourage you to try it really good milk. I'm Chris. This is Space Foods. We'll see you in the next video.